Hi there, my name is David and I'm one of the knowledge experts at Micro Center. Up until now, if your Windows PC was unusable due to viruses, malware, corrupted web browsers, and so on, you had three choices. Back up all your stuff if you hadn't already, erase your hard drive, reinstall Windows, never really a pleasant task, or you could select a repair option from a Windows installation if you had the installation disk, and even that was a messy process. Windows 8 introduces a new troubleshooting option called Refresh Your PC. It is non-destructive in that it preserves your data with the, a with the Microsoft account, the look and feel of your system as well. You still have to reinstall all your programs, but even that's made a little simpler than the, in the past. But make sure you have all your installation disks and the programs you downloaded and your product keys. The whole refresh process is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. We've edited some things out in our short video for brevity's sake. Also plan on and adding some time to that to reinstall all your software. To get started, press your Windows key and the letter C simultaneously. Click on Settings, click on Power, press your Shift key down and click Restart. Click on the Troubleshoot option. Click on the top, Refresh Your PC. You'll see a list of what's going to happen. Click Next. Let's pause here and review what's going to happen after we're done. First, your data such as documents, pictures, videos, and music will still be there. However, the programs you use to edit, view, or play them may be gone or replaced with defaults. Secondly, if you changed anything about how Windows 8 works out of the box, such as using Adobe Reader instead of the Windows 8 Reader app, or using VLC Player to play music instead of the Music app, then these will all be changed back. Third, if you bought apps from the Windows Store, those will stay, although I installed an ESPN app that I downloaded from the Windows Store, and that one went away after the re refresh. Perhaps it was because it was a free app. Fourth, if you installed any programs from optical disks or download, you will need to reinstall them and you must have your product keys available. This includes Microsoft Office. Finally, there will be a list of what programs were removed on your desktop for your reference. To proceed with this refresh, you are going to need to know your password that you use to log into Windows. Without it, this cannot go on. This screen is our point of no return. If you have any doubts about going through this refresh, this is your last opportunity to hit cancel. And we are back to real time for a moment. We will log back in, that's our account. That wallpaper you saw was wallpaper I put in. That wasn't something that Microsoft provided, so those settings were kept. Reestablishing our network connection. As expected, the programs I installed are gone, only the defaults are left. When I click on the highlighted icon on the top left, I'll see the list of removed apps. And the link in the bottom, you notice it's a hyperlink, and that's for openoffice.org. So I can click on that link, it'll take me to the OpenOffice website, and I can download the program again. That's pretty much it. 